Well, 21 weeks of NFL football has finally gotten us to this point here, folks. Super Bowl 56 kicking off at SoFi Stadium tomorrow evening. And this may look like a David versus Goliath scenario with the Rams having an all-star roster and all, but not, let's not just get ahead of ourselves just yet. Now, not only were both of these teams top 10 in scoring this year, but both also have very high-powered passing games. Plus, their defenses are definitely nothing to stick your nose up at, especially those boys on the defensive side of the ball for Los Angeles. Von Miller acquired from the Broncos mid-season for the Rams, just adding to that vaunted front four that finished third this season with 50 total sacks, 12 and a half of them coming from defensive tackle Aaron Donald, who we've seen is a nightmare to try and block. And the Bengals' offensive line has been pretty shaky all year long, so it should be pretty interesting to see what protection schemes they have in place against the Rams tomorrow night. Plus, having one of the top cornerbacks in the league in Jalen Ramsey, that always helps there too. But this game could really come down to the quarterback play. Burrow led the league in completion percentage this year with over 70% in his sophomore season. Plus, both quarterbacks were top 10 in both passing yards and touchdowns. Now, Matthew Stafford's a gunslinger, though, which is where I think the main difference starts to come into play. He was 30th this year in interceptions, throwing 17 in the regular season and one here in the NFC Championship game. But it wasn't all bad. Helps when you have the best wide receiver this season in Cooper Cup snagging balls for you. He led the league with over 1,900 yards and 1,900 receiving yards and 16 TDs, whether he was going up for a jump ball in the corner of the end zone here or burning the cornerback on a post route down the middle of the field. So yes, the Stafford and Cup connection is special, but is it as magical as those young Tigers from Cincy? The lethal combo between Burrow and Chase that once kindled at LSU has now exploded onto the professional stage. Jamar Chase is clearly a top five wide receiver in the league, winning Offensive Rookie of the Year a few days ago. And this man's just been saucing him all year long with over 1,400 yards and 13 touchdowns, great hands and route running. If Burrow's able to get him the ball tomorrow, you might as well just say adios because he's got the afterburners to take it the whole way to the house. So here's really your big four keys to the game that I think will decide who lifts the Lombardi Trophy tomorrow night. Can Jalen Ramsey lock down Jamar Chase on the outside tomorrow night, especially in the fourth quarter? I think that'll really be a matchup you want to keep your eyes closely on. Plus, how well does Cincinnati protect Burrow against Aaron Donald and those boys on the defensive line? Plus, the turnover battle is always, always a key point. And Joe Burrow, he's got that icy coolness that draws comparisons to Joe Namath who upset the Colts in Super Bowl III. Can Joe Cool, though, do the same? Well, we'll know soon enough.